Say to us. I'm not sure, but I think Carl might be staying. Well, Spankan, since you have changed a lot since the last time you were here, I've decided that you will be working on the main line with the goods trains. Thanks. As for you, Boiler, I heard complaints from the passengers that they were being bounced around like peas in a frying pan. But it was during a race with James, and Thomas was the one who gave us the idea. With Jack being shared, because you're dish, I wasn't really sure if you're gonna stay on the railway or not. Yes, sir. Uh, that night, Bowler had to spend the night at Wellsworth Sheds with Edward while Boko was away with a midnight goods train. Meanwhile, at Brendan Docks, Gordon and Duck were helping unload a ship of explosives along with Cranky, Big Mickey, and Coralie. Bye, guys! Oh no, here we go! The Fat Controller has sent me to help unload the ship. Do be careful then, those trucks have dangerous cargo on them. But Larry puffed up the truck too fast and accidentally knocked into Frankie's hook. Look what's happened now, you dummy! Quick, get clear! That thing's gonna blow! Move out, move out! Save yourselves! I can't! I accidentally derailed when I bumped into the trucks! Don't worry, I'll help! But we better hurry, or else we could go up in flames! I'll call the fire service! Right, now who needs the fire service? Fire at random docks! On the level, men! Correct, sir. Right, let's go. we can get. Bowler heard the news. If I go and help, maybe I can help make up for almost crashing into Neville and into him and Emma's shed. Don't worry, I'll help! Meanwhile, back at the docks, the fire was getting worse. Fortunately, Salty had pulled Larry back onto the rails and away from the Fuel tankers. Oh no! Big Mickey's top is going up! To make matters worse, he's going to land on those tankers! Not if I can help it!
Wow, that was close. Had you didn't push those fuel tankers out of the way, then Big Mickey would have gone up in flames. Well done, all of you. For once, I managed to do the right thing with my quick thinking. The next morning, as Duck took the trucks out of the way, the fat controller praised Bowler. Well, Bowler, I've heard all about your heroic actions from Shulchi, and I am very pleased with you. I was originally going to send you back to the mainland, but after your heroic actions last night, I've decided to have you as a permanent member of the Northwestern Railway. Would you like that? Oh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And now Bowler helps out on the main line as a mixed traffic engine. He is very proud with his quick thinking and his heroic actions, which made him feel like a changed engine in the